Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to take a few minutes to talk about the Ice Cream Screen Recorder. Now, the Ice Cream Screen Recorder is a program which, or app you could say, which I previously used and I kind of wrote a little bit of a review on already. Now, it's got a lot of feedback, which I'll go through and answer any questions in this video on. But um, I'm just going to kind of tell about my experience right now. I re-downloaded the program recently because I had a fresh PC build. Now, before when I used it, about maybe a few months, a year ago, it would record voice for me. The voice from my uh, mic, obviously, on my headset. So that's what I would use to record my videos with. And I thought it was a fairly decent screen recorder for free, obviously, as long as you keep your videos short, under 10 or 15 minutes, I think the time limit is. Now, I re-download the screen recorder and I had a lot of trouble getting my mic to work. As you can see here, I had quite a few tests I was running just to see if my sound and audio would work. And no matter what I did with the settings, I could not get it to work. As you can see here, you can see a little bar moving right there. So it obviously is detecting my microphone. It's, I don't think it's that my mic is too quiet. If it were too quiet then you wouldn't want to watch the video because I'd just be yelling in the mic the whole time. <laughs> um, the recording and everything is also set to my headset so I'm not really too sure why it isn't working. Um, if there is maybe some sort of setting or way I could do this maybe the recorder would be good. Otherwise I think that the screen recorder is best if you do not plan on recording audio. If you don't plan on recording audio, then I think it's a good screen recorder for free, obviously, that you can capture video with, stuff like that. As you can see here, it's fairly easy to use. I mean, it's good if you don't want audio. But otherwise, I think I would kind of steer clear of it. Now, to answer some of the questions people might have had. Now, Arsh Gamer TV says, does it record voice? Um, currently, I don't think it is. It's not working for me, at least. This person asked, did I download a virus? And there's a lot of questions kind of like that. Um, is it safe? You know, is it a clean download? I haven't had any problems with it, and I've scanned it. I've searched a little bit about it, and I think it is a good, clean download and program itself. I don't think there's any viruses or anything like that within it. Although, if you do not feel comfortable about recording something or downloading a program, I'd say just kind of stick to your gut on that one. It's better to play it safe and not get yourself a virus on your computer. Um, when you record a video, can you edit it with Movie Maker? I'm not sure that. I haven't really messed around too much. I mean, if you would like to, obviously you can test that out yourself. Um, let's see. Can't record voice. I think that's the same kind of boat I'm in right now. <laughs> Um, yeah, the only format you can co record is a WebM file, currently, because uh, you have to pay, of course, to get the other file types. But that's it's kind of one of the little things that's not too great. It's free, though, otherwise, so it's not too bad. This guy at least likes it. Um, how do you upload to YouTube? With this little button up here. <laughs> um, is it safe? I went over that. Um, change timer recording. I don't know if you mean like an offset, maybe? I'm sure there's probably a setting somewhere in there about recording or hotkeys or something like that. Um, and you can actually save to certain folders. You can create a folder on your desktop. Like I have one called videos. I just save, or this one right here, I save all my ice cream videos to this folder. Alright, well, I think that'll wrap it up, guys. If you have any th further questions or comments, be sure to just let me know, and if you have anything you want me to actually go through and make a video on, I'd be more than happy to. I plan on creating a video on what recording software I'm currently using, and maybe some a look at some other types of recording software and which free one is best. So, thank you.